<clears throat> Hi everyone and welcome to, to this guided meditation with me, Espen Hergen. Today I'm going to reading from the book The Money and the Law of Attraction, Learning to Attract Wealth, Health and Happiness by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teaching of Abraham's. So I'm going to read from 222 until 236. So it's going to be 222 to 236. Yeah. So it's almost like 14 sites. 14 sites. Yeah. Beautiful. And it's from the Abraham's workshop. Let's see if I'm looking a little bit back here. So I just like. It's the transcript of Abraham Live. It's a law of attraction workshop. So this is from what I'm reading about. So I'm starting from 222. So, but let the self to be in alignment, just like focus on the breathing and coming into our own alignment first, just breathing and allowing. That's first and foremost to feel our own alignments. And then when we hear something, it's an energy that sounds different because always alignment when we're listening from our own alignment if you know so when we're listening from our own presence when we're feeling good inside and we're listening to something that that is really good and, and it's a good energy in it and it's matching up with a feel good inside of you it just becomes more because everything that feels good and expanding uh, words that's been written uh, uh, from the unconditional love words that have been written from present you Words that have been written from feeling good is always a lot lining energy to move forward in the newness and become and become more, you see. Ah, so good. So let's move on. So I recently uh, got out from the town, so that's why I have all of these things. It's always a little bit cold inside here, so it's good to have a warm jacket and uh, things like that. So so good, so well. More to come. Happy beautiful day, honey. Scott, a beautiful day, Jen. Now, so let's read. Uh, uh, uh. So this is from the this book. You can see, it's how it looks like. Good. So, what does your story indicate? So we think we made. So we think we made a very powerful point with you. We have given it everything Esther has. Fun. We have projected to her the block of thought that says to you, "You are the creator of your experience, and you must create your experience deliberately if you are to have the joyful experience that." you meant to have unless you in any moment are seeing the world through the eyes of source then you are yes, let's see then you are but a shadow of the being that you come forth to be which means if you are doing less than loving whatever it is you're giving your attention to you are not who you were really born to be Negative emotion means you pinch it yourself off to some degree from who you really are. So, we talk about all of these powerful and wonderful positive emotions, but we would like, but we would like, <laughs> but we would like you to just reach for one emotion, and let's just give it one simple label. It is the emotion of relief. And we want to say to you that no matter where you are, and here's something really important to acknowledge, you are where you are. I am where I am. I am where I am regarding my relationships, regarding my body, regarding my money, regarding my philosophies, regarding my worldview, regarding my family experiences. I am where I am relative to all things. And all that means is I practice vibrations that have brought me to a point of a consistent attraction on every subject imaginable. In other words, I'm 
nothing that you're living is just happening to you. It's all happening in response to the thoughts and the patterns of thoughts that you are offering. And most of it is pretty darn good, isn't it? In other words, we're just talking about some fine tuning here. We're just talking about some deliberate leaning in the direction more of what you're wanting. The reason that we are so enthusiastic about presenting this to you in this way is because we know that if you leave this gathering understanding that you are the point of attraction for you and that you are offering a vibrational signal, signal that the law of attraction is replicating and that you can tell by the way you feel how well you're keeping up with what your life has caused you to become or not. And once the only thing that is important to you is that you feel good, once you begin guiding your thoughts, words and behavior because of the way it feels rather than because of the truth of it, once you begin to care more about how you feel than anything else, you will then be the joyous, deliberate creator that you came forth to be. And anything less than that leaves you pinched off from who you really are. So the feeling of relief is what you're reaching for. And as we're moving through this day, we'll show you how to find thoughts that give you that feeling of relief. We know that in any, any gathering, there is the tendency to want to spe speculate on endless things. And we're willing to talk with you about anything that is important to you. We just want you to remember that you are offering a vibrational signal now. That as, that as you offer it for a little bit of time. It really doesn't take very long. It begins to set up a frequency that begins then the patterns of attraction. And so it's really helpful if you begin right now to tell the story of your life the way you want it to be rather than the way that it has been. Because telling it the way it has been only holds you in that holding pattern of attraction. Can you feel that anything that you, that you would call negative attraction is really just a disallowance of the po positive attraction that is already in motion? This is the thing that we want to ferret out in a way that you really hear it. There is not a source of darkness. You don't walk into a room and look for a dark switch. Oh yeah, flip that and, and, and flip that, flip that and oh yeah, flip that and it lets that inky misty stuff come into the room and cover up the light. You know, that's not what's happening. There is not, that's a good point. There is not a source of badness or a source of evil or a source of sickness. There is only a disallowing of the stream. There's only a disallowing of moving in the direction of that which life ha has caused you to become. That's all. So everything is so much simpler than you have thought because this moment where all of your power is it's the only moment in which you can activate a vibration. Oh, you can activate a vibration about something that happening, happened a long time ago, but you're doing it now. You can, rem you can remember something that happening a long time ago or yesterday, but you're doing it now. You can anticipate something that will happen tomorrow or 10 years from now but you're doing it now. So whatever you think causes you to offer a signal now, which is your point of attraction. And when you offer a point of attraction for as little as set, uh, 17 seconds, the law of attraction kicks in. In other words, that is the combustion point. Combustion point. Combustion point where another fog that matches it joins it. Hold that fog for another 17 seconds and there is another combustion. Do that until you have achieved a vibrational alignment 
with any fog for us for as little as 68 seconds and things begin to move enough that as discerning eye can see the manifestation has begun that's what we do in the leverage class by the way that's really good with Tinica Hackworth so really powerful to to focus in 68 seconds about something one and feel good about it it's leveraging as it's best from your own alignment so that's all 68 seconds of telling it the way you want it to be rather than telling it like it is are there things in your life that are as you want them to be keep telling that story are there things in your life that are not as you want them to be don't tell that story but i am really busy i do have more to do than i can do did you hear what i said the good news is you will never again be a negative drum and not have conscious awareness of it and that is such a good thing because you cannot choose something that feels better until you are aware of what you are choosing so relief is the order of business what do you want to talk about so thanks you thanks Tineke for the beautiful leverage you're doing for us in Bessa creation society we do this every morning at uh, 5 a.m in the Europe time and I know in in the America time it's around 10 p.m or something like that 9 or 10 p.m in the evening really really powerful these leverage classes with uh, Tineke in She's, an, she's amazing with this uh, leveraging and, and all of us coming in together and do this together. It's amazing. We do it, co-create for ourselves and co-create it with, our, with each other. It's a beautiful, amazing energy that comes through. And uh, I would say for myself with leveraging many of many things in my life changes for I was leveraging and then I, I got the opportunity for, for do those things I leverage for. So and invest time so i'm very very appreciative of that experience it's just telling you know that energy when you focus on something as little as 68 se seconds and you feel good and you're having many people will do it together and and, and feel their own alignment and, and leverage for each other it's so magnificent and so beautiful uh, really really powerful so thank you uh, thank you tineke for these classes really really good and thank you all best I, bestes, best I to people for all of those classes. You, you, there's so many beautiful classes. We have business classes, we have, we have uh, relationship classes, we have workshop classes, we have money in the law of attraction classes. We have many, many beautiful classes and, and uh, yeah, and more to come. So it's, it's fun. It's fun to expand on all areas in the life. But it's, we know we all start from the first place from our own alignment. You know, we feel good about something, then take action. And we are all in that space first before we taking action in on something we are inspired to do. And that's why I, every class is so wonderful and powerful because there is no uh, resistance energy in it. It's a very inspired energy come from within and then it becomes a class or become something a Facebook live or something but it's always coming from alignment and like we always say in, in best life it's there's more to come so thank you everyone in best life and thanks for everyone in best life who co-created with themselves and co-create with each other it's so so powerful to be together as a group of people who are always uplifting and supporting each other and uh, giving the best of who we really are the energy that unconditional love we are and then just express yourself from that energy always so good so 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 good so let's move on uh two uh, two four so this is um what do you want to talk about so the vibrational essence of money cool this is good good stuff Ah, uh, good tea. Uh, let's see if, who's here before I'm moving on. This is fun. You know, I'm gonna have a little bit longer, a longer reading today. So let's see. Yeah, 
Scott to you. We have Tracy Abertovsky. Hi, Tracy. And we have, and that's who I see, and Shanetta. Hi, Shanetta. So, yeah, cool. The vibrational essence of money. <clears throat> Question. Thank you very much. This veritable fortune I've been amassing for so long. I was Abraham. Don't use sarcasm, sarcasm now. But question. Allow a little bit more of your experience on how I can deliberately be leaning more towards allowing. Good question. So I love a little bit more of your experience on how I can deliberately be leaning more towards allowing. So good. So Abraham answering. Abraham, now, anyone who listened back, and especially those who are sitting here in the room, might feel yourself wanting to stay, especially by the end of the day. Abraham is really nitpicking here. But we want you to feel, if you can, the feeling place from which that question comes. In other words, this veritable fortune. And we sense a sort of mocking tone. If there is, from where's my stuff? If the law of attraction is, as you say, and I've been amassing, amazing, was it amassing? Amassing in this fortune. Then where is it? And how can I get to it? And we want you to just feel for a moment that it, what is the dominant vibration within that sentiment that you offer? Where you offering the vibration from the lack of the money or from the having of the money? So lack, and we now, uh, and we know now, and we now you say, well, of course he is because it isn't there yet. So how can he offer a vibration about a state of being that he has not yet achieved? And we say, you just get to, you just got to figure out how to do it. Because until you do, you can't have the state of being that you want to achieve. You have to find the vibrational essence of it. And we think it's logical that in the beginning, there would be some questioning. Where is it? What am I doing wrong? What should I do differently? It's really, it's really what you are saying, but we want you to feel the entrapment that your own words and attitude about things have. And so the work is, you have to find a way of distracting yourself from the absence of the money while you activate within yourself a feeling of the money. So things like feeling appreciation for the prosperity that you are living, feeling appreciation for the possibility of more coming. In fact, we like to say that even when you get into an attitude of hope, you're much closer in vibration to allowing it, allowing it than when you are in the vibrational, vibration of doubt. So we tease you about a little bit of sarcasm, sarcasm about this a veritable fortune. But we want you to realize that when you feel sarcastic, <laughs> when you feel pessimistic, it is a far cry from feeling optimistic and hopeful. So the answer to your question, how do I let my fortune come to me? And me come to my fortune it's by pretending that it's already done by taking pieces of the fortune and mentally spending it by imagine how much fun it will be to have it by enjoying the feeling of relief even before you have the actual reason to feel the relief by caring so much about the way you feel that you guide your thoughts apart from the reality and so sarcasm sarcasm we're really kidding you a little bit. We're really kidding you a tiny little bit about that. It's further from letting it in than optimism or positive expectation. So feel the difference between saying, 
my money is really slow in coming i'm starting to believe that it's it's in vibrational escrow for me but i can't figure out how to let it in feel that sen sentiment and then feel the difference between that and saying it's going to be nice when i figure this out it's going to be nice when I figure this out. Let the resistance go. I haven't figured it out. I've been working at this long time and I haven't figured it out. It's totally upstream and resistance in nature. I'm looking forward to figuring this out. Releases resistance. I'm looking forward to figuring this out. Releases resistance. It will be nice when I figure this out. I have glimpse of this in my experience every day. I get it on a lot of different subjects. I'm doing pretty good on so much of this. I do like knowing that there is a fortune that's been amassed, amassed for me. I do like knowing that my life ex experience has caused me to put some things in vibrational escrow. I do like realizing that the source within me has preceded me in its expectation of my receiving of that. I do like knowing that my negative emotion itself is my indicator that I departed from how source sees me. I do like knowing that negative emotion is my indicator that source sees me as prosperous, prosperous. And in the, in the, and in the moment of my negative emotion, I'm not. I do like the idea that source can guide me to more positive feelings. And I do like knowing that the negative feelings are my indicator that I'm going going in the direction that source is think that source is thinking. I do like knowing that. I'm pretty good at this. I'm aware of the way I feel. I can tell the difference. I have noticed the correlation between what I've been thinking and feeling and what's manifesting. I do know that the reality shifts to match my chronic feeling. And I do understand that thinking something in the beginning that is different from what I've been thinking takes a little bit more focus. I do know that when I focus a little longer, it gets easier and easier. And I do know that the longer I say something, then the easier it is to say it. And the more I say it, the easier it is for me to expect it. And I do know that expectation brings a different feeling. I do know that I do know the difference in the feeling of hope and the feeling of doubt. I do know the difference in the feeling of excitement and the feeling of discouragement. I can do this. I know I can do this. Just conversation like that makes all the difference in the world. That is the work. We know it feels slow going, but that's the work. You didn't come to your chronic fault at all at once. And by chronic fault, we don't mean negative necessarily. By chronic, we mean what I usually think about this subject. You came to it gradually, and you're not going to shift from it all at once. You're not going to shift from it gradually. If you want to shift from it all at once, you're not going to do it. And then you'll get discouraged. But if you expect to shift from it gradually, and you do it, then you feel encouraged. So, just one statement at a time. Telling the story the way you like it, the way you want it to be. So, this is the way we would tell you, tell your story. I have recently heard that there is a veritable fortune waiting for me in a vibrational escrow. And I like how that sounds. I, and the idea of my life experience and what I'm living be, being the reason that, it is, that it's there is really thrilling to me. I like the idea that I can be or do or have whatever I want. And so I'm beginning to tell my story the way I want it to be. I don't think that money is the path to happiness, but I don't think it's the root of, of all evil either. I think money is, to, is a root to freedom. I think that within more money, there are more choices. And in more choices, there is more fun. 
I like the idea of making decision about what I want to do based on how it feels to do it rather than on whether I can afford to do it or not. I like the opportunities that more money opens for me. And so I don't think I'm just excited about the veritable fortune that's waiting for me. I think I'm excited about what that means to me and my family, what that means to those around me, what that means to the way I begin to view life what it means to the way I experience life. It's exciting to me to think about those kinds of changes. I love my life in so many ways, but I can see how this money that's on its way to tell, but I can see how this money that's on its way to me will enhance my life in this way and this way and this way. An extra hundred dollars today would mean these changes. An extra thousand dollars today would mean these changes. If we were allowing in an extra hundred thousand dollars this year, I would do this with it. If I allow, if I allowed in an extra five hundred thousand dollars every year, oh, that would mean I would live over there, and that means I would drive that, and that means I wor would work. That means I wouldn't work there, fun. Just play with it in your mind and vision. We offer a lot of games and the most productive game that we see and we watch it, a lot of people apply this process. And this is a powerful, powerful game is put a hundred dollar in your pocket with the intention of mentally Spending it every day, over and over and over again. Just contemplate how many things, if you wanted to, you could exchange for that hundred dollar. It is amazing what that simple game does in shifting the way you feel about money. It frees you up. It frees, frees you up. It frees you up. Freedom it frees you, frees you up, because your habit habit is to say, "Oh, I want that, but I shouldn't." Where this hundred dollar says, "I could, I could if I wanted to. I could if I wanted to. I can do that." So instead of saying, "I can afford that," over and over, over and over and over again, you're saying, "I could if I wanted to. I could if I wanted to." I could if I wanted to. I could if I wanted to. Someone said, well, Abraham, you haven't been physical lately because $100 doesn't buy much. And we say, if you spend $100 a thousand times today, you spend the equal of $100,000 today. And that goes a long way in shifting your vibration. And then people often say, but it's not real. And we say, it will be, it will be, you, you got it, you got to feel it first. And once the vibration is stable within you, the realization of it has to come. The law of attraction must bring you the path, the method, the co-creators and the results that you are conjuring vibrationally. When you conjure of prosperity in your vibration, prosperity must come in real life experience. And it will come in so many ways. It will come as you turn every corner, everywhere you look, another huge evidence of prosperity will show itself to you once you get it just a little more active than what you already got active. It is not a big deal you all make it out to be you know why it feels like a big deal because you've been looking of at what is offering a vibration of what is getting more of what is for so long you say i've done all this effort and i offered all this work and i work it all these years and in all of that i only come to where i am now and so what with that scanty little effort provides me 
when I offered all this effort and I only got this far. And we say, you've been offering action effort and now we are encouraging you to offer vibrational effort. Vibrational effort is bringing you into usage of the power and energy that creates worlds. Vibrational change makes big manifestational change when you are consistent in it. But when you say, I want it, but I want it, but I want it, but I want it, but you don't make any headway. When you say, I want it because, 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 you make headway. When you say, I believe I can do it, I think I can do it, I doubt I can do it, I'm not really doing it, I believe I can do it, I would like to do it, but I doubt I can do it, I am not really doing it, but I like to do it, I really like to do it, but I can't do it because I haven't been doing it, but I like to do it, I really want to do it, but I'm not doing it, hardly anybody does it, but I like to do it, but I want to do it, but it's hard to do it, and I'm not making any headway, and I want to do it, but I don't know what to do, then nothing changes. It is the same old, same old mundane, chronic vibrational habit of the way I feel. You have to use your willpower to focus your thoughts into a different storyline. So, Tell us now the story of your financial picture. <laughs> really good uh, energy here. A really powerful uh, reading and really beautiful message of thanks. It was perfect timing, perfect timing, always perfect timing. So let's move on. So, just read and read and read. This is good, this is good stuff my story of financial success question all is well that's what i can think through that whole conversation that all is well and i feel that inside it feels so wonderful and so organic in a way and i guess that's just my question is that part of the process Abraham answering, Abraham, that's all of the process. Because as we say, 99% of all creation is completed vibrationally before you get the evidence of it. So it's like traveling from Phoenix to San Diego and San Diego and San Diego is where you want to be. But for most of the distance of 400 miles, you're not where you want to be. And if it frustrates you that you're not there, vibrational speaking, you would just turn around and go back to Phoenix. You would never get there. But in terms of this physical journey from place to place, you say, well, I understand that journey so I can make that. I understand that journey so I can make that. I can see my progress. I can see that with every mile I stay focused in that direction, that I'm getting farther from where I don't want to be and closer to where I do want to be. And we say, so you keep the faith because you have this evidence that shows you, shows you you're getting close, you're getting closer, you're getting closer. So unless you walk in, nobody gets discouraged about that journey. In other words, you hold the faith you hold a belief. You don't say, San Diego is an impossible dream. You don't say, San Diego is incurable. I tried and tried and tried and tried and I can't get there. Because you can get there and you know you can. When you make the connection that the way you feel is your indicator of the direction that you're moving and you can honestly say to yourself, I do feel optimistic. When I say, all is well, I mean it, I really feel it, then we say, then you can, then you can't not get there. If you can maintain that expectation and then, and that attitude and that vibrational frequency, it has to come and it will come fast. 
So you say, okay, I'm on my way. I talked to Abraham and Abraham went on for way more than 68 seconds. And I got the feeling of the vibration of it. And when I said, all is well, I really felt it. And then I looked at my real life situation and I saw I wasn't yet in San Diego. In other words, I looked at something and I felt a negative hit of it because I'm not where I want to be. I want to do something and I don't have the money to do it. And I felt the disappointment. And we say, good. The disappointment is your indicator that whatever just happened and caused you to lose your sense of expectation and to begin focus, focusing upon something different from your expectation. What can you do now to bring yourself back to that feeling? When you work in that feeling of discouragement to bring yourself to something that feels better, you can clean up your vibration in a way that it will never return to that negative place again. In other words, when you feel negative emotion and you take the time to chew on it as we are here until you actually feel relief, which will take you usually 68 seconds or more to get there, when you actually viscerally feel the relief now you're never going to have to clean up that vibration again on that subject in just that way you move in the universe you move to a different vibrational vantage point and here's the most important things that we want you to hear about that because you move to a different vibrational vantage point the manifestational evidence has to shift too so in the moment that you make the effort to do that, all things in the universe regarding that subject respond to the new vibration that you offer. So that's the way you get an idea that pays off for you. That's the day you're rendezvous with somebody who has something to offer you. And you have something to offer them. And you exchange, exchange something financially as a result of it. In other words, that little bit of effort. You couldn't see that it was getting you closer to San Diego. You couldn't see it because it's not like driving your car toward a destination. But you felt it. So you, so you knew it. And because you felt it, and because you understood the importance of the way you felt, you keep it up. And you kept keep it up. And you kept it up. And you kept it up. And pretty soon, you don't just hope that you will have your abundance you don't just believe it you know it because the evidence is so empathically surrounding you just fall by fall by fall by fall by fall by fall you clean it up clean it up clean it up clean it up what do we mean by clean it up you tell it you tell it the way you want it to be and tell it less the way you don't want it to be. You stop facing reality and you start creating reality. So your friends say, what are you up to do? <laughs> what are you up to? So, you're, so your friends say, so your friends say, what are you up to? And you say, all good things. And they say, were you were you able to buy the things you wanted to buy or did you get that job you wanted to get and you say i'm right on track with it and they say no you didn't understand my question fun did you get it and you say you didn't understand my answer i'm on track for it and they said well if you don't have it you don't have it and you say, ah, oh, not true at all. I have it vibrationally. And now that I got it vibrationally, it must come to me. It is law. I got it vibrationally. Well, how do you know it's coming? Because I feel good. Because I feel so good. Well, you feel good before you got it. Fun. What's wrong with you? I know, I know the process. I have achieved vibrational alignment with my desire. And so it must come. It is law. 
how do you know you achieve vibrational alignment? Your negative friend says. How do you know you achieve vibrational alignment with what you want? I feel good every time I think about it. I feel good when I think about my fortune. I don't feel sarcastic and I don't feel disappointed and I don't feel discouraged. I feel optimistic because I know it's coming. In fact, I'm so op optimistic. Look at my list of what I'm going to do with it. This is my list of what I'm going to do with it. There's another game that we offer. It's a checkbook game where you deposit thousand dollar into your account vibrational dollars and you spend that thousand dollar on the second day you deposit two thousand dollar and spend them on the third day you deposit three thousand dollar and spend it spend them on the 365 365 365 day you deposit three hundred sixty five thousand dollar and spend it so as you are spending this money vibrationally as you are mentally spending it, what's happening is you are creating outlets out there for it to go. When you create a vibrational outlet, it draws everything for the accomplishment of it through you. That's what eagerness is. That's what passion is. That's what your feeling of enthusiasm is. In, in other words, when you present in this time space, in this time space reality, the vibrational preparing of a desire, it sets things into motion. That when you let yourself go with them, you feel wonderful. And when you don't let yourself go with them, you feel awful. Did you hear that? That means that if you feel really bad about something. It means you have asked for something and the larger part of you has become something that you're not letting the rest of you keep up with. Where we want you to realize that you're, you're the reason that your stream moves as fast as it, as it does. And you are also the reason that you are pointing with, with or against the current. And everything you feel is about that. Everything that you want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it. Whether it's money or a material of the object or a relationship or an experience, circumstance, event, everything that you want is because you think if you had it, you would feel better. And when you discover that just the idea of it will make you feel better, now you achieve the vibrational essence of it. And then the law of attraction has to yield it to you in all of that intricate, deep, things that your life has caused you to care out for yourself it has to be and in fact it is in your environment today in in your environment today you are projecting because of what you're living now into the future improved life experience that when new energies are born into new infant bodies who are not resistant they will then because they knew and not resistant, reap the benefit of what you have put into the mass consciousness vibrational act school. Just as you, in your time and space, are reaping the benefits of what past generation have set forward, because you just can't live life as humanity without asking for improvement. What we are wanting to propose to you is that you don't have to grow to close your gap, and you don't have to be reborn in order to reap the benefit of what you have launched. You can do it all here and now in this lifetime. And in fact, that's what you plan. Oh, really good. And in fact, that's what you plan. You say, I'll go forth and the variety, variety will inspire me to, to an ID. And once the idea has hatched within me, I will give it my undivided attention. Well, isn't that what we're just saying to you? Give your undivided attention to your newly hatched desires. And never mind the reality that was the basis that caused you to want them. Let your awareness instead of being, this is where I am. This is the thing that we most want to 
this seminar to say to you in a way. that you can hear it. B, it doesn't matter where you are because it's so temporary. It's just like the indicator on your gas gauge. Have you noticed how quickly it moves? Fun, especially lately. In other words, it's just an indicator. That's all it is. It's an indicator. So what's manifesting is just temporary indicator of temporary vibration but you say well it didn't feel all that temporary because i've been living it for a long time and we say it's because you've been having the same response and offering the same vibration so it's the same things happening but it's new you're not living the same life it's a new living of a new life from a new vibration it's just that the vibration that you're offering now is the same one that you offered yesterday because you got the habit of thinking of things the way of you thought of them yesterday if you've been away from the home that you grew up in for a while or away from the people that were there when you were growing up and if the home and if the people are still there go there soon and see how well you fit as you realize how much has happened in your life that has made you so different than who you were when you have when you live there and then realize that in every moment of every day this sort of expansion is taking place within you we love your question we love the question how do i get from where i am to where i want to be and the answer is look in the direction of where you want to be and speak in the direction of where you want to be and never again look back over your shoulder about where you have come from and if you can pull that one off as soon as tomorrow you will have the evidence of your veritable fortune boston workshop closing this is from boston boston workshop closing so just a little bit more reading the rest good boston workshop closing so abraham speaking abraham abraham we have enjoyed this interaction we enjoyed every interaction with everyone who sat in the chair today we enjoy the willingness of those of you who are sitting out there listening to it listening to it to patiently reach for the nugget that must be buried in their in there somewhere well uh, we tell you that we tell you not so we tell you what we tell you not so that you can get to the results that you think you want but so that you can feel the palpable relief and know that you can find it again anytime you reach for it we don't guide you toward man manifestations because we think those manifestations are essential to your experience. We guide you towards successful creation of manifestations because we want you to get a handle on your own vibration, because your own vibration is your life right now. What you feel right now is a mix, mixture of what you become and who you're letting yourself be. And nothing other than that is ever true. And when you have conscious awareness of the tools in your bag of tricks that help you to turn in the direction of who you are, now you have the tools that helps you to be the joyful being that you come forth to be. We don't want you to be a successful holder of millions of dollars, also you will be. We want you to be the joyful being that is enjoying the discovery of how to become that. We want the ride on the river to be as important to you in your physical form as it was to you when you decided to come forth. We want you to know that what you don't want so that you can know what you do want. And we want you to feel the difference. We want you to feel the relief when you turn in the direction of what you do want. And we want you to feel that knowing that you have improved your vibration as you just did. 
And then we want you to feel the acceleration of watching the universe forces converge around you and give you evidence of the alignment that took place. And then we want you to stand in the new platform and we want you to feel the contrast that will launch yet another desire. We want you to feel the power of the new desires and your vibrational relationship to it. And we want you to recognize that once again, you're not up to speed with who life has caused you to become, but we want you to say with the knowledge that you now know that you do because you've done it so many times. And we want you to deliberately reach for the thought that feels better, reach for the thought that feels better and move in the direction of what you are wanting and then feel the new manifestation. We want you to get your hands in the, in the clay of your life and we want you to like molding the clay. We don't want it to be about getting to the resource. We want it to be about the process of alignment. We want it to be about the energy in your belly. We want it to be about the emotion that you can improve. We want it to be about your you then recognizing the evidence that comes to you because you did improve, improve the emotion. We love how you felt and we love how you feel, how you feel. We love how you felt and we love how you feel. And we love that fact that you couldn't feel how you feel if you hadn't felt how you felt. In other words, that vibrational relationship is life. And there is no wrong in any of it. It's all the molding of the clay. We enjoy this more than words can say. Life is so good from our vantage point. We want you, we invite you to look at your world through the eyes of us because what we see is really, really good. Good times are before you as a result of this gathering. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain joyously incomplete. Ooh, good vibration so good fantastic absolutely amazing no words beautiful so that's it for today love you guys so so much thank you for being here co-creating with yourself co-creating creating with each other as we are always coming together with our own alignment it's expanding the conscious the mass consciousness and all that is for more to become in this who we who we really are and uh who we really are is always expanding always so love you guys so so much and see you tomorrow namaste enjoy